This episode of Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by Globe. It's not bragging if you back it up, right? In that case, welcome to the baddest show in the land. You guys have so much sexual tension. Where every question is answered. Um, why is the moon following me? And every challenge is met. I will survive 40. Three seasons of Good Times with Mo, and it's going as strong as ever. Color of the Night is the girl that's banging her best friend's husband. This is the top downloaded podcast in Philippine history. And it's not even close. Other shows will copy its style, will mimic its setup, but no one brings it like this. What's your favorite sexual position? 88, I ate you, you ate me. <laughs> Join us as we launch another season, another year. We don't just invite the hard questions, we dare you to come up with one. Boy, this guy's really weird. From Los Angeles and Manila. Two studios, guest co-hosts, celebrity appearances, and just a whole lot of loving going on. It's the world's famous Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season three. And your host, the Philippine genius, Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. It is a Wednesday night. Season 3 premiere, hence the new introduction, new background music, whatever you may uh, want to call it. But I guess a new feel, same shit though. 478 phone number, Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can text us, 0927-214-1981, Bianca Valerio. Good evening. Season 3! Hi everybody, yeah, I'm feeling I've been here from Season 1, diba right? But eh. That's part right. of the family. Congratulations, um, uh, Mel. Well, um, what do you ask? You guys. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, it's, it's a little Who, who for me. came up with the concept of the OBB? Um, well, what do you mean? Like, who came up with the concept? Like, who, like, who, like, who, who wrote decided it? what clips to be on it? Um, I think it was uh, Pico and Ange and uh, Pico Gian. and Ange. Oh, Gia. Oh, you guys are so cute. Till 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Oh, cry as a river. <laughs> Cry us a river. You know what time it is right here, right here? You know what time it is right now while we do this show? It's 5, 5 a.m. a.m. It's 5 a.m. Jesus. Uh, um, uh, all right. So let's get to your calls. I like the intro, though. It's nice. It's nice. I it's like so well it. written. It's so yabang. Who wrote that? It sounds so gross. Like, you Who guys have that? so much sexual attention. No, oh, that's you. That's I you. Know, that, right. See, now you're making fun of your own way of speaking. That's when you know the world is coming <laughs> to an end soon. Soon, it'll come to an end. Um, uh, all right. So let's get to this uh, show. We have a lot of calls tonight. So I I want to hey. thank everybody who's there. Please hang out for a while. I mean, if you are calling the show and you know where we'll say, hey, we'll put you on and it takes an hour, hour and a half to get you on, please be patient. It is just that way. It is the way it is. We have calls. We have to talk about them and we'll get you on the air as soon as we can. Um, yeah. So are we ready to go? Let's do it. Ready. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Mika, who is on line six. Mika, you're 20 years old in Malate. What's up? Hi. Yep. What's up? What's up? Hi. How can we help you? Hello? Yes. yes. How can we help you, Mika? What's up? Well I, well, I have a question. Yes. Yes. Go. <laughs> um, how can you make buying condoms less awkward? Uh, tell your boyfriend to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but he says it has to be like 50-50. It has to be me sometimes and him some other times. Um, um uh, tell him to suck your dick is what I would just then kind of say. <laughs> you have so a pussy it. of a fucking boyfriend. Yeah, really. It, you know what? All it boils down is this. Okay, how about this? You you buy you buy the condoms half the time. He buys yeah. your sanitary pads half the time. Tampons. He buys <laughs> All no, the other vagina wash, feminine yeah, wash. He, he has to buy that half of the time. And then you guys are square. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Okay. The only right? time he should be really embarrassed is if the condom said something like extra small. Or you know, I mean, but no, it, if anything, I've I've done it before. I think it's a very I wouldn't say liberating, but it feel it feels good in a way that yeah, my respond I, I have sex and I'm responsible about it. 
Well, mm-hmm. uh, I don't think that that's the the thing there, Bianca. I mean, it's not a message that you want to share culturally that when a girl isn't there buying condoms that, yeah, I'm, I'm No, sorry, I'm talking about the guy, especially the guy. I'm talking about the guy. It's Regardless. Like, dude, it's a- like, be a man about it. Jesus. I think that uh, it should be if it goes on your dick, you buy it. If it goes in my pussy, like, you know, yeah, but without fair. your dick, but it's fair. My, I do it. I mean, just, just if you just understand, it's less embarrassing because at least she lalaki she, de ba? At least alam nila para sa kanya. <laughs> right, right. I mean, while while it should not be a problem for a female to walk in your mercury drug, buy some condoms in a perfect world, we don't live in a perfect world. It's su- super imperfect. And if it's a female buying condoms, trust me, people are watch. That's just the way the country works. Yeah. And you know, to to add that kind of, I don't know, it's not. It's, it's it's not embarrassing, is it? So or maybe here's my it is. question it, for you: When so, when a it. girl buys pills, does it is yeah. it the same? Well, that's for girls, though. I'm not consuming it. No, no, but meaning when well, you can well because here's the thing: when it comes to pills, not a lot of people use it, so not a lot of people in line know that that's what you're buying. A, B, it's used for a bunch of other stuff aside from sex. Of course, yes, that's top of the line. But you know, there's yeah. skin, there's regulating your period, there's all of these other things. When you're buying condoms, that is to put on your cock. That just which is the way it is. I mean, a party and you need some balloons. Sure. Mm-hmm. When you're a 20 year old girl walking in there as scrawny as this girl sounds, it's for dick. Oh, yeah, you mm-hmm. are 20. Okay, right. So tell him to fucking do it or you're not having sex with him. But I'm so proud okay. of you guys that you are making sure to have responsible fun. How about this, uh, yeah, love? If he's, your, yeah, yeah, if he's your boyfriend and you guys trust each other, why not just use the pill? A lot more fun, a lot easier. You're good to go. You know, no breaking of condom, skin-to-skin action. I totally recommend it. All bigger right. boobs well, for as long as it is a <laughs> responsible option that you're doing i'm all for it yeah but you yeah know, it's, i, I it's think best the pill is the way to go to make sure that you are prescribed or you're taking the right pill that suits right. like sure yeah do it it's, yeah. it's better it listen it's better if you, if you guys trust each other it's, it's just better all around all right all right thank you guys right. okay take all care right, bye 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 you know, Jesus, I can understand. Says you have to do it half the time too. What a fucking pussy. no! But I, 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 I was saying, yeah, I know the pussy. But anyway, no pun intended. But um, uh, I can understand why some girls don't want to take the pill and they would rather um have sex um with a guy using a condom. Well, for one, um, they're so scared. The number one thing that they're scared of, they're gonna get fat. Because it is a, there's a great probability that when you take the pill and you only realize it like after two months of taking it, like, oh shit, I'm fatter, you know? So it's not like an instantaneous thing. And that's why a lot of the girls are. Yeah, but are what's great is you can it. always jump ship. You can take another pill. The moment you're finding that you're, you know, you're getting side effects with a weight gain. Go to the next yeah, one. but th- that's the thing, though. Um, it usually takes about two to three months for your body to, I- I- in a way, it's sort of like adjusting the first two to three months. So you can't really say that's the full effect of the pill for you. So you actually have to wait after about three months to see if you, so to speak, normalize. So right. it's about a bit of an investment One side in time. effect that, yeah. and you get a ton of other positive things you get out of it, though. I, I just think that when you weigh it, it is yeah. the better route. No, I go. agree. Especially when you find the right one for you. And that's why, girls, if you guys are afraid that you're going to get fat and you're going to get all these side effects, whatnot, Ra- when in doubt, what do you mean? See- all of these other side effects. I mean, there's probably no, all- what one other one. Maybe no, no, no. you know, moody no. or I don't know. Whatever no, fuck, but- not there's vaginal dryness. There's water retention. There is um, you. There's so many actually. Some people so actually many, huh? get acne. Yes, okay. And sometimes right. that's why it's so important that you go to your gynecologist because they're gonna ask you. Um, if you're if you're regular in your period, they're gonna ask you so many questions, and then with all those findings that they have, the information that they have on you, then they're going to recommend a pill based on the mixture of hormones, so to speak. And then at least you narrow down the choices of what you think will work and won't work for you. This is what you need to do: go to the gynecologist, say I want bigger tits and a pill. <laughs> like, oh, oh, that thirty-five. Yep, enjoy the big tits oh, and a pill. God, and you yeah. get the fuck without condom on. Mm-hmm. Nika, you're on line five. Hi, Nika. 
Mika. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Hi. Fantastic, Nika. You sound like a girl that if I called a cell phone and I heard a voice that you know the subscriber cannot be reached, that that voice would be yours. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. just saying. That's a good. That's a, that's a compliment, Nika. How can we help you, dear? I'm sorry. How can we help you, love? What's up? Oh, the connection is really bad. Come again. It's okay. Start talking. What's your question? Yeah, he, here is my question. Like, I live here in Manila, in Pasay City, okay. and my boyfriend lives in the province. So it will take me three hours to get there. And then uh, we only see each other for like once a month, once or twice a month. So I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think is the sweetest thing a guy can do for a girl? Like sweetest thing that I can do for my boyfriend and same thing with him. In relation when, to the distance? Yeah, well, like what do you mean? When you see yeah. each other? Like sweetest we, thing you can do for each other? See, see each other, right? So I how often to do you ask see each other? you guys about uh, tips on how can I show how much I love him? Tips. Yeah, um, <clears throat> how often do you see each other? Once or twice a month. Well, one would be uh, just to surprise him. Sex. That's one. One is when you see each other because you guys haven't... I'm, I'm assuming you guys have already had sex, right? No. Oh, okay. <sighs> um, uh, that's, a good, that's a very sweet thing. Okay. It's pretty sweet. Well, oh, no, but that's a major commitment. <laughs> but sweet. Okay. But before, other than sex, there's, you know, a strip tease. I, of course. Whoa, wait friends. a minute. What, what are you talking about? It's sweet. Anyway, she's it's a virgin. Sweet. I, virgin, <laughs> come <laughs> on. <laughs> well, 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 you know, we I'm laughing. What the know. fuck are we going? We're, <laughs> we're, we're like, we we're like, oh, oh okay, yeah. Uh, so have you guys had to No, we haven't had sex. Okay, well, how about a strip tease? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> I you grew do up a dancer. After. So like dancing with sexy you clothes You do the strip on tease is... at least a month after you're having regular sex. So you don't pull that off in the beginning. I'm sorry. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, All gosh. right. Um, mm-hmm. where, what's your name again? Nika. Uh, God, what, can uh, you at be At least sweet surprise her. Surprise him. Just show up yeah. like um, unannounced. You just have to, maybe not even unannounced because, you know, it's just so far and then you head over three hours and puta wala pala siya sa bahay. Well, of you course, know, she wh- makes all the, just... she can, what's the word? She can coordinate with certain people, like with certain friends Good, to make sure, you know. It's not a birthday. They're doing it twice a month. Diba? I How mean, about this? You once? just plan something for the moment you see each other. Like, I don't know, man. Fuck. <laughs> okay. or, isn't it sweet enough that you're going to see each other? Mo, you are like the driest unromantic person ever. I am incredibly romantic, and you should line up and tell you and, and try to listen to the stories. Awesome. I'm fucking all there because awesome. I have a creative mind and I have the ability to pull it off. Now, here's the thing: if you're gonna see each other once to twice a month, does it have to be a big production every single time? No, I'm sure. Well. Yeah, that's I mean, the question. There's only X amount of things you can do when the guy's coming from three hours away, which is pretty fucking far. And then he gets there and he's like, you know, just, he just wants to hang out, man. He just wants to relax. Yeah, because the thing is, since you guys don't see each other all the time already, every moment that you spend together is already so much more special than a typical couple who can see each other anytime. I feel that's the time when a couple who sees each other regular, regularly you know, needs to change it up and add some spice to it. But the fact that you guys see each other so rarely, just your presence alone and that effort mm-hmm. that you make to see each other, is already amazing, but of course I know you're you're saying let extra umph, you know, when you see each other. Um, take him to you a certain restaurant it. that he likes, or yeah, you don't honestly need it. But I guess she really wants to make an extra effort, right? So well, no, because her question is, what can he do for me that's extra street sweet, and what can I do for him? It's like I I just don't think that it's necessary if you want to do whatever you feel like you want to do the moment you get there, whether it be in the 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 vigor in your hug to the passion in your kiss on the cheek to how tight you want to hold his hand. No, I... It doesn't have to be 
a big production number. It it doesn't have to be a big production number. And yes, I understand. You know, this is the the kiss, the hug, and the everything. But I I understand where she's coming from. Where, you know, remember that uh, a few weeks ago I was talking about the things that you remember about a person. It's not what they gave you. It's 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 experiences. It's those memories that you have with that person. So of course, if you wanted to be extra sweet or even sweet, just in general, you want to um have create a certain memory a certain experience with that person so it's not just about seeing each other after two months and you and you whatever make out you mm. don't make out you have dinner you want to create like a specific memory so well let's say his favorite restaurant uh. or a certain restaurant that he likes i mean oh i'm only talking about for you okay since you're insistent that you want to do something special for him then think about the things that he likes and you're the only person that can answer yeah. that like strip right? teasing like so okay. that means doing something that he really enjoy. Yeah, I mean, for like, example, for it exa- rhymes with sex. Do, doing like, something for him, but not <laughs> whether it be not sex. No, not not it sex. It rhymes okay. with blowjob. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that is not sweet. Although that is an experience, it is quite memorable. It, but I can't guarantee that it'll be sweet. But yeah, it's it's about doing. A service for him, you know, whether it be you cook for him, you, you. How about this? You, How about this? I'm cutting you off because this what? is way too fucking long. Yeah. I, I, I'm not even listening anymore. Uh, whoever makes the trek, that person re- receives the reward. So it's something that you and him actually plan out. You go, okay, babe. You know, it's three hours away. Whoever makes the move. To see that person, that person gets pampered the moment they get there, period. Like now that. the burden is on you okay. to decide what you're going to do because I'm on my way. Or you guys because can alternate. Because if I'm going three hours, you know, it is, it is alternating. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's like whoever makes the move, meaning whoever makes the drive or the trek or whatever fucking word you want to call it, yeah. that person gets to be pampered. So y- you don't mind so much driving or, th- or commuting or whatever, mm. flying three hours away because you know something is good, good is waiting for you. And then at that point, you have no more worries. You don't have to come up with any kind of uh, big production plan or anything because you're the one putting in the hard work of getting over there. So if it's this Saturday, he comes to Manila, and then next Saturday you go to Bicol or whatever the fuck, it's whoever arrives at the destination. Yeah, gets or to you be can pampered. even meet halfway That's the deal. in the destination, right? No, don't, because then you're going to have to double pamper and we're going to go back to square one, Bianca. Oh, Shh. okay. Just get over there. And that's going to be the deal. You go, babe, this is the new deal. When I get to this, I need to be in the morning or whatever the fuck. That's the same. That's, that's what's going to happen. Because then it's exciting. Then you're like, oh, okay, there's an element of yeah. mystery. And there's this, oh, the moment I get there, I know even though it's a tiring trip, I know I'm going to be taken care of. Love it. Thank but you. It's, a, it's God such bless a sweet you. effort. Goodbye. So take care. But that's nice though, because it technically hers is, I won't say long distance, but there is a bit of a distance in their relationship. Three and hours is and pretty there long. is uh, an effort that needs to be made so that, you know, they don't lose touch, so to speak, if they see each other that seldom. See, you know what the equivalent is to her uh, for you, rich people? Singapore. It's just like if your boyfriend lived in Singapore, he would have to go there. It's a three-hour flight. Grab it, hassle, you know, all that shit. Yeah, that's why when people say, oh my God, it's one hour girl from Alabang to ABCBN, it's an hour and a half, you know? So yeah. Alabang, t- no, traffic in yeah. Metro Manila is a killer. Right, no, what I'm saying, the, the equivalent of her well, yeah, problem I guess. for you, rich people, is if your boyfriend lived in Singapore. Mm. That's all. See? See? See the difference between uh, money and no money? Or Alabang to Subic. Yeah, just saying. Three hours. Take it a break. When we come back, we will uh, take more of your calls. Season it's 3. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Text 0927-214-1981. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Agent CT, what's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across the country. See? I see one right there. (sighs) 
What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent. HQ, do you read me? Respond, Agent CT. Do you copy? What's your status? Agent, do you copy? Do you copy? Where am I? There seems to be no signal tower in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agent Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission! To the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites. We need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets. They feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Health risk? Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what we Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree. I want to call my father now. No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That super Agent CT now! Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> this show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare? 
Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here. It is a Wednesday night. You're listening to Good Times with Mo, the podcast, brought to you by Globe. Our phone number is 478 7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can text us at 0927 214 1981. Take your love problems, life problems, sex question, whatever you want to throw our way. Bianca Valerio is here. You can follow her on Twitter at Bianca underscore Valerio. Bianca, you ready? I'm so ready. And don't forget to check out Mo Twister's newest website, his blog, motwister.ph. Ah. Wow, what is this? Oh, because I plug your Twitter and then you're, oh, okay. I no, you. because it, you know, so that you don't have to do it and just oh, throwing yeah, love your way. Well, let me remind you what you get, though, when you go there. I mean, you know, you get reviews. Uh, it, I you like get backpacks. prizes like Kobe. Or is it called Kobe's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kobe shoes, Kobe Nike, shoes. Kobe uh, Elite shoes. So sad, not, I don't even Kobe know what 9s. they are. <laughs> Titan 22. Next week, Jordan, Jordan 10s, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The week after that, Jordan 9s, uh, sorry, uh, Kobe 9s again, but it will get the different kind of colors in. Actually, all of uh, next month, I'm giving away more Kobe's, just different colors and different kind of themes because mm-hmm. it, you know they're, they're launched with different flavors, I guess, if you're... Flavors, I like that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like a cherry, it's like a grape. It, 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 it's it's good stuff, man. Plus, you get uh, to, a chance to win tickets to see Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. That happens every week, also mm-hmm. on uh, the website, and you get to see them live happening March 16th, uh, right there at Moa. So good stuff. Thanks for the plug. Sure, it. it's good shit. Good shit. <laughs> um, okay, speaking of flavors, who's next? Chris, you are 25. San Juan, what's up? Hello. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi. Hi. How can we help you? Hello. Hello, Chris. Hello. What's your question? Hello. Yes. Chris, what's your question? Um, I'm wondering if uh, does your performance in bed actually affect uh, affected if you love the person or what a lot? Yeah, uh, that, that, that's a good question. Is the, your performance in bed affected by how much you love the person you're actually having sex with? Yeah, I think so. I, I guess it also depends on what kind of person you are. Um, mm. And how much, maybe not even love, it's how much you like the person. Like if you really, really like someone and you're going to have sex with them, you're putting out, you're pulling out all the stops. I mean, you're, you're, you're doing everything you can. Yeah, and usually wise. if if there are some guys like if they're just in it to get laid, they don't care if yeah. the girl comes. I mean, maybe some guys do, yeah. some guys don't. But because you care about the person, or you just, like in Moses, you like the person, so you want to please them. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure they come first, or they come real good, or you last long. You actually consider another person. And if anything, either like Mo would always share in in pre, um, previous episode episodes, sometimes you. Even even get penis failure because you're so pressured yeah. or you're just so inspired you're like bang i'm gonna you know bang this off the wall and you are giving the performance of your it's, life it's you know listen it's the same thing in all aspects of life like if a you job and I, yeah like if you and i no, well, i mean let's just talk about in a romantic kind of aspect okay. without you know not sex but you still like someone or you still love someone if you're a friend of mine and you come over and you say hey let's go out to dinner we're going to tapaking fucker yeah. Now, if you're somebody I like, we're going to we're going to fucking surrender. We're going to look for a nice nice fucking place to eat, yeah. or we're going to go to a fucking the Shangri La or whatever it may be. You can find that kind of behavior consistent in other things when you like somebody. Yeah. When I text you, if we're just pals, I text you. I'm going to be like, okay. If I like you, it's going to be like, all right, have a great day. Thank you. You know, it's nice. It was nice getting a message from you. <laughs> just go on and on. Right. Yeah, and, it, and, it, and you also have thing. to you also have to realize as much as you know guys don't like to be emo or anything, I think anything in life when it's given some 
emotion, like especially sex, you know, as corny as it sounds, let's say you're making love to someone, even the corniest sex, like missionary or just normal sex, it's just more special because it doesn't feel empty. It's not a robotic act. It's not just for the sake of coming, you know, yeah, so you know, you're like sharing if I, something if I, special. If I, have like a, if I have like a fuck buddy, I'm not going down on her. She's not my girlfriend. Oh, payon, got, yeah. Diba? Yeah, I'm not going down on you if you're not my girlfriend. Yeah. And if you're not my girlfriend. And, and, and I, I ain't love going you down on you girlfriend. for nothing right. unless I super, super really? love you. You've never given a blowjob to a person that you just were kind of casually were having sex with? I've never really have casual sex, I swear. Oh, that's, that's unbelievable. Hey, I came from a 10 year relationship, right? Again. With a bakla. With so I'm sure that you'll be able to give a blowjob every now and then somebody you're not. <gasps> oh Lord. Anyway, Listen. moving on. Anyway. Thank, thanks, Chris. Yes, it's very <laughs> much affected by the way the amount much. of okay. love. Well, not even love. Like, remember, there's a difference. Okay. I think if you really like somebody, you're gonna do everything you can. I actually, to to a, to a certain extent, I think if you really like somebody, you do more than if you just love them, because like is that part where you have to show your best. This is your best representation of yourself. So when you mm. like somebody, you better be fucking good in bed. When you love someone, you can you can you know you can slide a little bit. It, it the you know yeah. the emotions are there, the satisfaction is there. But when you like somebody, oh Jesus, the killing. Well, not the, the tingly, killing, the butterfly the effect. Oh, no. the pressure. If I like you, if I just like you, I better be fucking stallion in bed because I want then you to eventually love me, and mm. then when you love me, I can. Not, you know, I can lessen the uh, the intensity yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh well. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, let's it's go so to Lloyd. It's so sweet that he asked that question, though. You know. Yeah. Lloyd, you're on line three. Eighteen, Manila. Hi, Lloyd. What's up? Hi, Lloyd. Um, What's up? So, hi guys. Um, cause uh, it's been months since I've met this person, and. I really, I think I'm starting to like her, but I don't know if I should start it by saying it or it might ruin the friendship. Do you uh, think she likes ruin you? The friendship call. Um, I think she gives out signs. Like, she asks me to go out with her and to just, like, go to the movies and just chill. But I'm not sure if it's good enough to say that I like uh, that she, she likes me back yeah or not. That, that's not good enough dude I ask I, I mean I know a lot of people like yeah I, I'll ask oh, well man. then again they're gay here's no, my problem a lot of people this is ask the girl's just fault. friends to hang out this is the girl's fault for leading period. him on yes yeah, and I'll tell you like, this she just girls. texts me in the middle in the middle of the night and she just I girl she likes you she man, like food? I, mean, <laughs> I mean like she doesn't she can't sleep and I don't know. She just wants to talk to me. Something like that. Nah, she likes you. Ah, oh, she likes if you. If she doesn't like you, if she doesn't like you, shame on her for that behavior. Oh, man, I hope so. I hope she likes me. I mean, it's really oh, hard. Oh, look at you, you little cute little puppy. Yeah, because sometimes yeah, he, it could uh, be she, she doesn't realize she likes you. She, she likes always being around you. Okay. Can I give a speech here to the girls? Girls, yeah. listen to me here, girls. If you're <laughs> listening, Kuya most talking, so shut the fuck up, girls. Mm. I got to tell you something here. I hope she's Guys... Good. Yeah, yeah. I hope she's listening too. <clears throat> Guys do not want to hang out with you unless they think they can get something. They don't. They'd rather hang out with their guy friends. Okay. Unless they if I'm spending, <laughs> if I'm spending time with a girl, it's because I, I I'm hoping something happens uh, between us. Aside from that, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather just hang out yeah. with my guy friends and play basketball or play PlayStation Four or just fucking talk about Jason Collins on the nets or do something else. I would not rather choose to hang out with you. The reason why I hang out with you is because hopefully, we never know, something might develop. That's yeah. all girls, okay? So, females, if there's a boy who's hanging around your life or just hanging around your circle of friends, even though, parang kuya lang siya. Nope. Nope. We don't want to be kuya to anybody. <laughs> I don't want that pressure. I don't want, that ta- I don't want, I don't, I don't want time invested in being a kuya. I don't want any of that shit. I want yeah, to hook man, up. I get you. I want to hook up. Up. Yeah. So, but I will chicks, say this. Speaking now that you know girls, this universal fact, please act accordingly. That if you have a male friend yeah. that you invite, and if you have a male friend that you spend time with, and you tell him to come over to your house and hang out, or you call him in the middle of the night just to chat with him, that boy is wants you bad. And if you go, and if he tells you 
listen, I really like you. You better not go, oh my God, you ruined the friendship. No, woman, Holy you ruined yeah, the man. friendship. But, but I will say this, though. I mean, there are some girls where they just really like having a male bud. So maybe yes, it's yes, selfish. Maybe fine. it's clueless. No, 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 no. no. I, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. There are girls who are, girls don't behave the way guys behave. So yeah. girls, what I'm telling you is this. When you, if you want a male bud, Okay, say so you want a dude friend. Yeah, you want a yeah. you want a guy in your life who's just but he's not going to be your boyfriend. Please don't don't be shocked. Don't say, "Oh, you ruined the if friendship." If he falls for you. Yeah, yeah, if he fucking likes you because guess what? He likes you already. That's the only reason why he's hanging out with you. Really? Do you really believe that? Like guys just hang out it's with It's not a belief. It's true. I'm yeah. not going to hang out. I'd rather hang out with my dude friends. What the fuck am I hanging out with you for? To, yeah, man. I have yeah, a that's view on true. that. I was just going to say to meet other hot girls, but yeah, I guess. No? Makes sense. I mean, hot girls are my dude friends. Okay. All right. Fair. So, girls, not to, not to put so much you know weight on your shoulders and all of that shit, yeah. the burden is, in fact, on you. If you're hanging out with a guy, that guy only is hanging out with you. Okay. I'm not saying he likes you. I'm just saying he's only hanging out with you because he hopes he's going to score yeah. one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All dude, right. just, 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 just tell her. Just yeah, why, why, do, do, why, Bianca? You, do you play two K fourteen? No. I knew one. See? Two K. So I want to hang out with you. Ah, okay. Two K all day. Hello, yeah, two K all day, baby. Yeah, there's no, there's no age gap between me and this eighteen year old right here. I'm twice his age. I'm thirty six. He's eighteen, but we know it's two K all day. Okay. Yeah, man, solid. That's right, God damn it. You are so cute. How old are you? He's eighteen. Oh, Half our age. Adorable. Half. Okay. All right. Hey, listen, uh, Lloyd, I'll tell you yeah. this, though, buddy. I think she does like you a lot. I think that those little text messages oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the those movie and the hangout, but it's like a lot of girls do that with, with guys. But the texting you in the middle of the night and I can't sleep. I mean, maybe she's, yeah, but she likes you. But, but she just got out of her relationship. I mean, she might be like so long. I rebound, girl. How long? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I think. But how, Jesus Christ. how old is she? G- she yeah. She's a teenager as well. But I was just gonna say yeah, she's she's, she's yeah. Um, All right, you're fine. You're yeah, fine. Just tell and her. just in case, do me a favor. Just in case she does the whole uh, fucking you ruin the friendship. You're just like Michael. Yeah, I yeah. need you to call me back on the podcast when you're with her. I'm gonna yell at her. Okay? Oh man. Yeah. G G G. I will. I will. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All, right. All right, thanks. thanks so. Okay, take, take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, because I think some girls actually, when they say that, and I could be wrong here. No, I, no, I'm right. In fact, some girls actually say that not because they don't. They they're like, oh my god, like I I don't want to lose you as a friend. It's some some girls are so manip- manipulative that they want the guy to like her, and then she has more options now. She gets more guys to try and like her. <laughs> yeah. I love how you said. I think I'm right. I could be wrong. No, I'm no, right. I'm uh, right. Bianca, no, I'm right. you're wrong. <laughs> I know <laughs> of course for not. sure. There are no, of course you, not. No, that, you know what it is, Bianca. Listen, we're gonna get into a little argument, but I hope it's gonna end up healthy. <sighs> you mm. feel this way because you have lived a life full of options. You are an attractive girl. It is attractive girl mentality. When you don't have suitors, and you don't know what that's like because you're beautiful, and 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 you know. You should be thankful. But when you don't have suitors, trust me, there's none of this, oh, I think I'm just going to pretend to not like him so I have options. You know what kind of pressure it's like? Come on, you've got ugly fucking friends. You know what kind of pressure it's like when you look at them, you stare at them, and no one ever asks for their number? I don't look And then for them to fuck around and, yeah, see? That's what what I'm saying. You and your fucking, you know, fine-ass friends, which is a good thing. I mean, you have beautiful friends. But try being in the ugly girl shoes for a day. Not too fun when no one. But asks we don't you know if number. this girl is is a, a ten or, in your words, an eight. Well, or whatever. she just came from a two month relationship and she's got another boy knocking on her door right away. I'm assuming she's fairly attractive. But what I'm saying is, not all girls are gonna go. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna play this game. Oh, so not I have options. all, but there are some very manipulative bitches out there. Just saying. Your friends. No, not necessarily my friends. I just know for a fact. All Hashtag. Right. All right.
Fair enough. That's all. <sighs> this is why other girls hate each other. This is why I don't hang out with girls. Or people. Ah. I send So all your friends want to fuck you. That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Actually, good stuff. Let's take a break. When we come back, more of your calls. 478-7954. Skype, The Good Times Podcast. You can text us here on 927-214-1981. It is Good Times with Mo brought to you by Globe. See you guys in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening today. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and. They go, just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi niyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga ormokanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along. And I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning, Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, Kiba. Right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> The show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. We got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichenmann? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Ascals head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. 
with what's happening with Michael Weiss. Uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh... Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. Hi, they say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here. It is Good Times with Mo, the podcast brought to you by Glow. We are in our third season, everyone. That's right. I want to thank you guys for making it so darn successful. We appreciate you a million times over. We I've been hearing a lot one. of rants. About Nahao Load. You know that? What is Nahao? Hindi na pasa load. Yeah, Nahao Load. Good thing Globe does more to protect our load credits. They can provide real time updates on load balance. Just visit globe.com.ph slash prepaid for more details. Be updated and worry free from Nahao Load. All right. 478 7954. That is our phone number. You call us or Skype. The Good Times Podcast. Text us 0927-214-1981. Bianca Valerio is here. And we have calls on hold. Where do we go first? Let's go to Liberty. Hi, Liberty. Line six. Hello. Hi, Liberty. Hello, Liberty. How are you? <laughs> I'm really good. How are you? What a really... We're good. That's a that's a very unique name, Liberty. It's so patriotic. It's so, so liberating. <laughs> Um, Hemingway. Where were yeah. we? Oh yeah, Nakhal Lod. Oh yeah, yeah. No Liberty. What's up? How can we help you? Okay. Um, I actually have this small problem regarding my American chutney. American. Okay. American what? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, she has an American chat mate that chat uh, mate. she yeah. chats okay. with. Yeah. Now, what's the problem? Um, we've, uh, we've been chatting for almost six months now. And uh, so, of course, we chat through Skype, and he also calls me um, most of the time. And we also chat on Facebook and stuff. So here's the thing. Um, for me, I'm chatting with him just as a friend because, you know, I'm kind of <laughs> bored and stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. 
don't Did you just hear us earlier? Plan of having a relationship with him or anything. So okay. there, and he knows that. Um, he knows the fact that um, I don't fall in love. So there, and then last night while we were chatting, um, he told me that um, after a couple of months that we've been, you know, chatting and um, sharing stories and stuff, um, he thinks that he's already falling for me. Okay. So, yeah. So there. So I told him that um, I don't. I mean, I don't have any plan of oh having a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. there. Then he started crying. Oh. And oh. and um. I, Pico, was that you? I, I kind of crying on. Wait, 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 crying on yeah. webcam? Shit, that kind of sounds like me. <laughs> you know, That's blaming true. On Pico. <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Um. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the question, my love? What's the question? <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> Liberty. Hello? Hello? Yeah, so yeah, what's, what's your question? question? Okay, so uh, my question is, um, because I already told him not to contact me anymore, but he's still trying to get in touch. Okay. So my, my question is, what is the best way for me to reject him that he will just, uh, you know, stop calling me or contacting me? Ignore him. Well, first of all, you're fucking awful of a human being. That's why I want to kind of throw out there initially their uh, liberty is we were just talking about this 10 minutes ago when I yeah. said, girls, come on now. Why would you take it against the guy when he shows that he has feelings for you? Because now this is your fault. I mean, come on. You guys are chatting every single day. Yeah, this is bound Skype, to happen. And then what? All of a sudden you're surprised that he's in love with you? Yeah, I am. Cause oh, he knows it from the very start that you know um, I'm not chatting with him because I'm looking for a rela- for a relationship or anything. I'm just um, chatting with him because I find him intelligent, and I'm really into intelligent um, persons whom I can share intelligent conversation with. Well, yeah, so, you know what? Okay, sorry. No, but you know. No matter how much you will say, these are the parameters, these are the rules, you know, when feelings happen, your logic is out the door. Like, I'm sure in his head, yeah, sure, no problem. Maybe initially, he must have thought, I'm not going to fall for this girl. You know, she finds me intelligent, great. Why not talk to a person who thinks I'm amazing and I'm intelligent? But, you know, I... It happens, and he fell for you, and it's unfortunate that you don't like him back, right? So, since Mo, you've already shared you can you shared your sentiments that she's an awful person, but we do have to answer her question, which is how? Yeah, do your we answer is this. Listen, if he's an intelligent him. fellow, if he's an yeah. intelligent man, which you say he is, and he's yeah. a Westerner, so maybe he's got an open mind. Who knows? Whatever. Yeah. Just say this. Hey, listen, I I, I don't. I'm not in love with you, and you knew this from the beginning. I told you I'm not the relationship type of person. I really enjoy talking to you because you're smart, and I would like to continue talking to you if that's all we have, like this yeah. great friendship with awesome conversation and all of these things. But if you're going to tell me you're in love with me and you're going to continue to pursue that, then I'm going to have to not Cut talk to you anymore because, yeah. because it feels uncomfortable and you know it's not what I was looking for. You and know, I don't want to be unfair to you. Not, 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 not to say that let's just pretend none of this happened, but let's go ahead and say, I know you like me in that way. I want you to know that I don't like you in that way. And if we can kind of just you know, cut this one off, at least that part of what happened right away now and just continue to just having the conversation that we're used to having. Yeah then let's do it. I can still hang out with you. Yeah. Because you can. You know, it's Skype. It's not like fucking A. You know, he doesn't live next door to you where he's going to be coming at your door. Oh, boy, yeah. I love you. You know, yeah, let him cry on this fucking computer, whatever. Just say, hey, listen, I'm really sorry I hurt your feelings. I think that's my fault because I do, because it is, by the way, uh, I do spend a lot of time with you. And for me to think that you are not, you know, one of us, you don't, don't even blame it on him. Just say, it'd be naive to think that one of us wouldn't have feelings after all the time that we chat, we spend mm-hmm. chatting. But 
like I said, because I do value you, I think you're really intelligent. I enjoy your company. We can still chat as much as we what we chat before. Let's just kind of not talk about the attraction part. Yeah, but if if he still persists and it makes you feel uncomfortable, let's say he even gets more aggressive, right? Then rather you can't explain to someone who can't be thinking straight anymore. Just cut off all ties. Well, that's why I said if he's an intelligent man, as you have claimed for him to be an intelligent man, he should be able to like assess the entire thing, absorb Mm. all of the stuff that you're saying, and then move on from it as well because he's smart. Okay. But don't be don't be don't be shocked if he then starts hanging out with his dude friends and playing basketball and two K every day, uh, because he already knows he's not gonna score. All right? Yeah, is he an old man? Is he old? I'm sorry? How old I'm is he? Really. He is uh, around thirty five. That's old. Yeah, that's that, that, that's, 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 old. that's yeah. relatively old. Yeah. Oh man, you broke an old man's heart, you freaking bitch. Yeah. All right, baby. Thanks, Liberty. We appreciate it, and have a good day. Good Set luck. him okay. free, okay. Liberty. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. He's not that old. He's twenty five years older than me. I think he's like yeah. quarter century. Yeah, he's so. he's relatively. He he's not old, but he's relatively old. He's old compared to her. Yeah. He's a he's a skypeable age. <laughs> <laughs> Initial um, basketball age. Let's go to Miggy, who is 24. Yeah. Hey, Miggy. You're in Manila. Line five. What's up? Hello. Hi. Hi, Miggy. Miggy, uh, do me a favor. Can you, can you get closer to the microphone? Speak up a little bit. There. Hello? Whatever. Yeah, what do you got? Uh, so my question is, I know, how can we spice up our website? What? What? Who, you and the dog in the back? I have no information on who else is involved in this scenario. I cannot understand. I can't hear. What? He wants to spice up. Spice up his sex life. Woo, 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 woo. Oh. Yeah. And I asked him with who because I have no idea who he's talking about. Yeah, with whom are you talking about? Your girlfriend? Your fuck buddy? My friend with benefits. The, the Pomeranian in the background. I'm I know. Yeah, I can't, I can't understand him. Um, Girlfriend. Is that girlfriend? No, he said fuck buddy. Friend with fuck benefits. buddy. How does okay. he spice it up? Is what he, How long have you guys been fuck buddies? Uh, months. Yeah. Two months. How many? Two months? Oh, okay. Well, you only have two months more and then you have to break up with this uh, fuck buddy. You know this, right? Yeah, because no. one is bound to fall for the other. Yeah. It's going to happen. And if the more you spice it up, the chances of you guys falling in love with each other are greater. Because you're now spicing it up, you're adding more to what should there just now be. is an effort. Yeah, which there, usually there means ju- you care. Yeah. yeah. So, are you ready for this? No, I'm not ready. Okay, then don't spice anything up. Just leave it as is. Just fucking go, like cool. fuck and go. Yeah. All right. You know what I mean? It's like going to it's like going to get a haircut. Just sit there, and then the barber starts talking to you. And don't talk back. Just. Haircut and leave. Make it as platonic as possible. Meaning, of course, when you're putting a bit but of an come. effort. Yeah, when you were when you're sorry, <laughs> when you want to spice things up, that means you thought about it. That means there's an effort. And when there's an effort, that means even the slightest percentage, that means you care. So if you feed on that, it'll grow and grow and grow. And eventually one will make more of the effort while the other one is just laying back and be like, let's just fuck. So to protect yourself and your heart, just make, unless of course you're sure this other person probably wants more than just fucking, just leave it to just plain old sex. If you are going to make any, any adjustments, make it while you guys are mid fuck. Like if you're going to, Hey, listen, you want to spice it up by like, well, the thing is, don't plan anything in advance because then, oh, make it again, like a spontaneous thing. Yeah, like like you you know like my dick is in fact in your mouth while I'm deciding that let's just <laughs> let's just if you do you wanna like I don't know fucking can I come on your face you know like that's the spicing up we're talking about. It only has to be of the sexual kind of carnal adjustments. Yeah, but nothing else. Like, like go with the flow. Usually, like when you're so freaking horny, just shit just happens, right? But with a thing like this, it's almost like you're planning a date. You know, like you're planning what restaurant to eat at, or you're planning what flowers to get her. It's the same thing. All right. Cool. All right. Got it. Cool. Okay. Take care. Bye. 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 
Uh, let's see here. We have. Let's take a break. When we come back, right. maybe we'll. We got a call from Italy, Milan. I love that. That's awesome. That was, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> um, and we have another call on the cell phone that we're gonna take in just a few minutes. Back after this. Don't go away. We'll return after this commercial break. Agent CT, what's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent... H HQ, do you read me? Respond, Agent CT. Do you copy? What's your status? Oh, Agent, do you oh, copy? Do you copy? Do you copy? Oh. Your status. It's you. It's <laughs> Where am I? There seems to be no signal that we're in this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agent CT! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission! To the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association Office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh great, just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites. We need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. But what about the health risks? Fear not. Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about That's it. Exactly what we Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. Thank you! 
No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That Super Agent CT now! I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory fam. So she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Bianca, I'm going to make fun of you again. Great. As I do every day that you're here. So but not fucking really you. excited. Fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I purposely said that just for you. <laughs> it's not that I'm making fun of you, though. I'm going to, re I'm going to rephrase. I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of your. Ugh. I don't want to say your kind because it's not really your kind. It's you know rich girls. I make fun of rich girls. I make fun of rich people. You know what? The the, time. You make it seem like we're it's like shame on us. It's not like I. It's not. I'm making yeah. fun of you. Like like I make fun of fat people. I make fun of like short people. I make fun of all kinds of people. Okay. It's just you happen to be there, and you know what? I, I'm you're, blessed. You're, I'm blessed that my parents. Cadence, you know. Yeah. No. Fuck. Yes. Listen. Of all of those problems, I would love that one. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. And it's and it's we're just making fun. It's not like it, yeah. listen. If I disliked you, you wouldn't be on the show. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for your. I'm not, I mean, not to, not to be not to be all uh, Willie revealing me about it, but it's true, right? I mean, like if we never got along, why would you be here? Why would you, you know, be here if guys, you hated it? Guys, for the record, people you? think that we should end up together. Guys, come on. No. That's why. That's listen. Like I said, that's the only time. That's only because that's the only reason I hang out with you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the only reason why I have this job. It's because yeah. Anyway. Woo. Mm. Um. Where was I? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here's my make fun of rich girls. Mm. Um. And it's really only rich girls. When 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 we have a call or if somebody brings up the fact that they're from Europe, rich girls always get giddy. Oh, I've been there. So nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you know it's fucking true. And it's funny because I love geography. I love like I love travel. I love meeting people from other countries. But I like the the, the conflict states more than I do like your Europe. The mainstream. Um, I like. Yeah. No, no, not yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Then like, the I mainstream. Like, yeah, then yeah, the yeah, mainstream. yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. And and not just not not. I don't like small like countries that no one's heard of. I like I like conflict areas. Like when someone calls and says, "Hi, I'm from the Horn of Africa." I'm like, "Oh shit. Yes, man. You know, let's, let's talk about it." And then every time a girl would call and say, "Hey, I'm from Florence." Or they say like from Yemen or something. Yeah. Yeah, I know that I'm all over Syria and stuff like yeah. that. And then, you know, when I, every time I'm hanging out with my rich friends and someone says, "Oh, where are you from?" Oh, I'm from uh fucking Nice. Oh, Yeah. Jesus. And I sit there and I want to stab myself in the eyeball. In fairness, I, 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 I genuinely true. don't do that. I know you don't because I'm not, yeah. I, I don't ever hear you do it. But I know yeah. your friends do it, right? Mm. Be honest. So. Right? So. Okay. So, in honor of your friends, <laughs> let's, uh, let, us, let us know what it sounds like as we speak to Jen here. Jen, <laughs> you're from Milan, Italy. Oh, my God. Like I buy shoes there. Oh my god, it's like I love all Milan. Leather. Bang in a, you know, I've been there like on the way to Tuscany. Put in a, yeah, and like, oh, yeah. oh my god, like and you think like it's just like in the magazines, but it's just really small that one Putang street, the yeah. Via Pero, Veneto Chorva. No. Oh my god, Putang like a, so But it's so different like a, I know, you guys listen, I'll tell you right now, you guys listen. <laughs> if you've never been to Milan, put in a, it's not what you see in the magazines. So mm-hmm. when you get there, it may may mm-hmm. emotional co- connection to get like with the air. It's so beautiful. The flowers. Bro. I know. Oh, it's shit. like I feel if like Versace's poor, spirit is walking listen, down the street. If you're if you're too poor to go to Milan, I'll just mm. okay, I'll buy you like some bachi chocolate. But oh, you don't even know what that is because you're poor. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's like dark chocolate with hazelnut. It's great. Mm. And Milan is beautiful. Jen. Oh my gosh. Yes. So what are you like a caretaker? Over there? <laughs> what are you going? What are you going on? What's on, Jen? Milan's beautiful. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, it is. Totally. I mean, Walking around. The pole, this is kids over there. Okay. Yeah. How can we help I, you? Yeah. And I love your non-excitement about it. That makes you and I able to hang out. Yeah, like, she's I like so phased, unfazed, yeah. whatever. Yeah. That's good. Okay. What do you got? Jen? Oh, uh, we lost Jen. Oh, what Jesus. She's that back in Milan. She's been, on, she's been on hold the entire time, and I was just talking about the goddamn city. She's sitting. coming on back. But I'm sure you know what her question is, like, sort of. Yeah, it's probably some, I don't know, whatever. Some boyfriend. Shit. Oh, yeah. it's a boyfriend problem. Yeah, yeah probably. She's 19. I mean, what else are you going to yeah. call about? Uh, but yeah, so that's how rich girls behave. I think not As all rich girls behave place. that way. Oh, no, no, yes, no, no. I'm not trying to majority. offend anyone. Meaning, I think the there are majority. a lot of posers who actually do that to make it look like Absolutely. they're the rich girls. I think that I think that entire thing is posing. Yeah, it, it's because remember, well, because yeah, usually okay, the ones who don't money. want to brag, who don't usually brag to them, it's just no. Yeah, I'd be like this, there. man. If I was Italian, if I was truly Italian, and I saw your asses go over there and fucking lose your mind over, I'd be like, hey, in the end, this is my country. The fuck. Go back to your shit place. <laughs> the reason why you're so excited about my country is because your country's shit. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. The reason why you're doing that, oh, oh my God, is because yours place sucks. Yeah, but usually people who love to name drop or place drop, I, I don't know, whatever the drops are, you know. I mean, yes, I'm sure there's truth to it, but but obviously there's some insecurity. Yeah, but do you think someone from Tuscany some goes to, do you think someone from Tuscany goes to fucking say uh, Paris and goes, oh my God, Paris? Of course not. Oh my God, I need a baguette and I don't right? mean for the right? hair. They don't yeah. do that shit. You know why? Because their <laughs> shit's awesome too. Yeah, oh, so like, okay. I, I would yeah. love to go to Tuscany one day, and only it's because call it corny, but that that movie of um that girl, <laughs> how lame something. Tuscan sun. Yeah, it just looks so nice. Yeah. Is it under the Tuscan sun? Or something some like that, know. right? Yeah. I mean, she fell in love in or something, or. Uh, nevertheless. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like the movie uh, "Under the Hail of Bullets" in uh, Islamabad. Uh, That's my <laughs> film. Uh, that really don't hurt think. Angie's feelings. Yeah. That's where her boyfriend's Jen? from. Jen. Hi. Yes. All right. Hi, baby. Jen. How can we help you? Hello, young guy. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I've been with my boyfriend for 
it's not that long since we got together about a month or two. Okay. Uh, I got pregnant. And Ooh. Wait, you're 19? No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got 18 then and then I got pregnant. Okay. And um, uh, uh, just a, a week before, uh, I, I, uh, a month before I found that out, uh, my mom told me, oh, you're going to Italy now and we're going to stay here and live here for, for, uh, for good. Just like that. And I... Oh my God! How will I tell? I uh, make the long story short. I'm here in Milan now, and um, this is where I give birth. And yeah, my mom doesn't like my boyfriend. Okay, that's uh-huh. fair. I can understand. So your boyfriend's Italian? Yeah, uh, no, he's, he's Filipino. Ah, uh, okay. But you guys just decided to jump up and go to Milan or he was from Milan naman talaga or what's the deal? Um, no, I, my, yeah. I want to keep the baby because yeah, I'm in, still in college and I got pregnant and then um, uh, I don't want to keep the, they don't want to keep me the, ba- the baby because yeah, it's expensive. I will destroy my life but um, yeah. we decided to keep it and I love the baby now and we all yes, love it but yeah. the father is problem for them because, yeah of course uh, no i think what, what she's trying yeah, to say is guy, she was living in manila the and then is- she got <clears throat> pregnant and then her mom just suddenly said hi we're moving to italy pack your bags and go and this was a month before she found out she was pregnant oh okay wait wait wait, wait. Yeah. time out your mom and you moved to italy and the boyfriend got yeah. stuck in manila he, yeah in Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever. Okay. And so she so ended now, up giving okay. birth in Italy. Okay, so your mom found Okay, hold on one minute. Your mom found out that you were pregnant and then moved you to Italy or she moved you to Italy before she found out you were pregnant? It's already planned. Yes, it's it's already planned and I just uh, uh got pregnant and yeah. Okay. All right. So, what's the question? Mm-hmm. So the question is, the baby's now one year old, and the father is a good guy. But the problem is, I hate to say this, but he's he's not financially capable of uh, uh, supporting us. So yeah, the mom yes. is shouldering all the expenses, and uh, because of that, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to stay with him anymore because we're still together. I mean, long distance relationship and we're now planning to move to Norway and my mother have a wow. boyfriend and they're about to get married now and we're planning to move in Norway and of course naman na na pupunta ako doon at alam nila na yung tatay eh wala pa ring work yeah yeah kaya i'm yeah. i'm planning to break up with this guy kasi sobrang bait niya at saka alam ko na at saka, um, na yung mga bata na nagpa-promise na, oh, walang iwanan, ganun. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you listened to the show was, and you know yeah. that that's yeah. the case. Okay, well. well, well yeah, wait, go wait ahead, Wait a minute. Mo. Why yeah. would you want to yeah. go to Oslo yeah. instead of staying in Milan? Yeah, I know from Milan, biglang, wow, Scandinavian Peninsula, damn. Do you go to Oslo now? No, they're they're well, planning oh. to move there because of the mom's boyfriend or something. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get married. Yeah. yeah, she got yeah. married. Okay, oh, if if I Life's may mo. Life's getting shittier by the second. No, but Norway's beautiful by the way. Oh, oh my God, Norway. Oh my God, my mommy's eyes. Dog okay. sled, lovely. Okay, well, all right. So let's get to it. Um, I. I First of which, a, the long guy. distance is not gonna work yeah. out. Yeah, the long distance is brutal. Yeah. Um. Secondly, you're so young. You guys are teenagers. Yes. So. To, to to expect that to work out, I mean, the, the chance of that working out is zero. Yes. Zero. Yeah. There's no way you guys are going to In terms of not just distance, but emotional, psychological, financial, yeah. Age, all the aspects. Maturity. Because you guys I mean, are just I, kids. Yeah, don't even think, like, yeah. I think financially stable is the least of your concerns yes. here. Um, just because yeah. distance, age, all of that stuff. Now, what is unique in your situation is because you have this child that the both of you are a part of, and he's a good guy, and he wants to be a part of it, yeah. um, which is, you know, again, we don't see very often yes, when it comes to this scenario. Yeah, especially at that age. 
Um, yeah. You just have to tell them, it, like, this is the way it's going to be. I mean, as much as possible, you're going to tell your child about him. You can Skype with the yeah. baby as often mm-hmm. as you want. Yeah. You know, you'll when you come to the Philippines and visit, you can spend all the time. But, you know, a child cannot be away, cannot be away from their mother. I mean, whether it be legally or yeah. it's not even just the right thing to yeah. do. So, yeah, uh, this is not even in the birth certificate. Yeah. Oh, so this see. is, okay. yes, yeah, so when you say things like, you just have to be sensitive about how much it means to him when you break up with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I need you to be He's such a good guy and maybe made uh, like that. Um, uh, because we came from a broken home, okay. so I promise na namin gagawin yung sa baby. Okay, that that's yeah, great. Yeah, but it's a very okay. Yeah, again, that is it that is a very romantic noble, thing. Yeah, but not very realistic. Mm-hmm. It's not impossible that it works out okay, but it's not. It's highly unlikely. I know I said zero chance. It's not zero. Fine, maybe one yeah. percent. But but it's so against you. Yeah. You know, it's just it's so difficult to pull off. Yeah, it's so, not like we're trying to take this away from you. It's just that at that age, it it sounds really nice and and happily ever after. But realistically speaking, um, you know, it it's not like you're depriving him of being a dad. It's just that now you need to cut off being the boyfriend. So um, for as long as he knows that he can still be a part of her life as a dad, whether it be via Skype or whatnot, and for as long as you talk to the baby about him, then he shouldn't have, so to speak, anything to worry about, especially um, now that she's a baby, she can't really understand anything much. She can't really, you know, so to speak, see him. So the things that you should worry about more is, I wouldn't worry, but later on, when she's older, when she can talk, when she can ask questions, then there you go. Like, then you can see from there. I, I would like to think years down the road, he's gotten a job or he's, do you know what I mean? But if we're talking about just right now, like Mo said, long distance is truly impossible. Um, number two, in terms of financial is the least of your problems. And as yeah, much well, how as much he, can you expect financially from yeah. a 19 year old? And especially I mean, if we're talking about euros, <laughs> right it's not even pesos yeah you you can't even like put it a part of the equation just right at this point because he's a teenager i mean he i'm sure he's not established his lifelong career so yeah it's just one of these things that when you get when you get uh impregnated at a teen you know when you're teens these are the challenges man it just so happens that your challenges are greater than a lot of people's because you're further away and then this and this and that and but it's a good guy and you don't want to break his heart and But here's whatever. the thing that you that you can tell your mom cuz I know that you're saying your mom doesn't like the guy and I'm sure she wants you to break off ties with him blah 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 you're better off without that's truly understandable you know um however to appease her and to appease your your boyfriend or the father of your child you can tell your mom mom we're no longer together we've decided it's the best for this re- for this relationship to just not be together but that doesn't mean he's not a good dad maybe right now he can't support her financially but he really wants to be an active presence in her life so whether it be skype or email or whatnot i i think mom you should understand that you're a parent too and you wouldn't want to deprive a child of their natural birthright Yeah, but her mom her mom's got issues obviously because i mean well, if her mom like she said they were both from broken homes and if her mom if her well, if anything, like, I would think she would understand. She wouldn't oh, want her grandchild not. to have a. No, of, cor- of course you not. Know. You know, it's either no, it's either understanding or following or the, the yeah, path. either so, or. But it's worth a try, so, right? It's worth a try. Yeah, yeah. Break. If you're gonna break up with this guy, you do it in the most gentle, almost hopeful manner. Like, yeah. hey, listen, let's just be realistic. You're there, I'm here. We need to concentrate yeah. on establishing ourselves. We mm-hmm. can't just jump into this thing and i know that you can't support financially right now because you have, still have school last, uh yesterday oh you did already and up until now be gentle if he calls you answer it don't completely cut him out yeah. oh, that's rude you know if he yeah, if he I asks you that. a question about it just answer it. If he calls you, answer it. If he wants to have a chat, talk to him about it. Because right now you're it, doing something that's it's, really it's ultimately be best process. for your child. Yeah. yeah. It'll be a long, yeah. dragging process, this breakup, because it's so unique. 
But at the same time, I think it's the right thing to do instead of just stop talking to him altogether. I mean, good fucking God. You didn't even put his fucking name on the birth certificate. That's very rude. And your mom's a fucking bitch. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right? Yeah. But I put in Iron Milan, so you know, the donuts. It's so good there. Okay. No, but, but no. She's a good girl. Yeah, enjoy the ice cream in Norway. Uh, so that, kapag nagka-work ka, okay lang, sige, magpakasal kayo, ganun, pero uh, for now, magising ka muna sa katotohanan na wala, wala talaga may baby gay sa baby, ganun. Yes, and she's right. She's actually very right. I mean, yeah, but that's sometimes not just about the baby. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, it's a, like I mean, if she, she is she, all, she obviously just protecting her own child, more, right? Yeah, not really. She's just acting the yeah, way she's maybe fucking acting. The problem because you can naman ganon kamahal yung lalaki. You know, nag I love you. I I said I love you, pero I'm kung mahal ko siya, pero hindi ganon na kamahal na gusto kong Young marriage. Of course, girl, you're only 19. You don't even need to go there yet. Okay? Yeah, we're not asking you to be yeah. married. I'm just asking you, don't be fucking yeah. rude. This guy, yeah. his name should be in the fucking uh, birth certificate. How yeah. often do you find a guy that at 19 would care so much exactly. about this? I know. I mean, you get what I mean? He, and he was 18 at the time. And, yeah. you know, we see this so it's often where they're just like, oh, now. okay. Yeah, yeah well, that's whatever. why. He's still that's... a teenager. So uh, my, my thing is this. He is only, he's been respectful. He's been a good person. Mm -hmm. He deserves a better fate. Whether you're going to break up with him or not is fine. You can break up with him, okay. But Jesus Christ, Don't taking him out of him like a fucking birth certificate, take, like almost just picking up and let, not allowing him to be there to see the child born and mm. all of that. I mean, you're going to live in Norway, which is probably a very difficult visa for him to get. It, it's just. You guys are rude. Okay, and you know what? I'll I'll share some advice. You know, obviously, when I got pregnant, I wasn't married as well. My parents were Shut. also, you know, initially just saying disappointed with me. And my parents also the same thing, wanted me to break up with him, blah, blah, blah. But I also felt bad because he's actually, and you know this for a fact, he's such an amazing dad. He wasn't, maybe we we weren't the best as boyfriends, but he was an amazing dad. But it took time. It took a lot of time before my, my parents saw that because he was so consistent, kahit email, Skype, lahat, he would call our, our kid every day on the phone and was able to really, I guess, show na he is a very active part of of our kids' lives. Yeah. So, regardless if he's got money or not, exactly. And, and, the, and that's what. But see, I think that's why the advice has to be: when he calls, you answer. He yeah. he's earned it, just like your. He has earned you know, it. The that's father exactly. Of your child, it. He has earned Bianca, it. He's he's earned the phone yes. call. Yes. He's earned a little bit of respect. He's earned a better treatment yeah that's why my parents they don't say anything anymore and and every time my daughter talks about her dad like all the time like it it's just a part of our family you know because they know that he really does love our daughter sounds good all right there you go thanks for the call love appreciate it okay take care good luck enjoy 19 i have to to admit she sounded a lot older yeah well that's what Anyway, she's, she's depressed. Yeah, that uh, is so call. random. Manila, Italy, Norway. Boom. Like, wow. Yeah. Whirlwind. Yeah. And then your friends, not too excited about Norway. <laughs> they are about Italy, right? They only get thrilled about a certain area. Like, a but because country. that's only popular. I actually like the ones that are not too popular, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. But, but you're, I know what you're going to say. Uh, yeah, Istanbul, uh, fucking uh, Prague. Because that's the new one for rich chicks to get all excited about. I think Prague's overrated. I know you love Prague. Norway's okay. I love Prague before all you I like fuckers Sweden love Prague. More. I don't love Prague anymore because you fucking rich bitches have taken all the Prague credit. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no racist. Cool. The reason why I tell you, I tell you why I love Prague though is because I love Prague when it was called still called Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah I like I like it. It sounds man. so sexy. That's right. Mm. And then the fucking flag looks like our flag. See, I love it for real reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's like the new Italy now. But my Jesus. favorite for is fucking still Hungary. Is still Budapest. Fucking rich your yeah, chicks from Alabang say. rubbing their stink all over my cities. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. <laughs> Thank God you're not like them and that they're just your friends. Um, uh, no, I just know them. There you go. I know Sam. them. Yeah. Sam, welcome to the show. 21. Hi, Sam. 
Is a guy? Sam? Is a girl. It's a girl. It's a boy. Oh, okay. Sam? Sam? From Las Pinas? Psy. Hi, Sam. Hi, Hi, could you speak louder? Could you talk closer to the mic? No. There you go. Ah, there you go. What's up, Sam? Okay. I'm okay. How are you? We're great. How can we help you tonight? I have a problem. Okay. But I have a girlfriend. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <gasps> really? <laughs> and then? We're... We're almost five years. Oh, okay. But we are not my. But he. But her mother is mad at me. Why? Uh huh. Para ano para? Hindi kami nila. Ano ulit? So you've been Hindi dating your girlfriend for five years. Tapos yung mommy niya ayaw sa'yo. Dahil? Oh, dahil? Kasi mas gusto ng mommy niya yung mga friends ng mommy niya lang. Ha? Huh? Ah, yung, yung, gr- yung mommy ng girlfriend mo, mas gusto niya yung mga anak ng friends niya para sa kanya. Yes. Ah, so, um, okay. Okay. Then parang... Alagig, sabi nga ng girlfriend ko, parang nagiging unfair na kasi yung isa niyang kapatid, pinapayagan naman magpaligaw ng kahit sino. Okay. Pero ikaw, kahit anong gawin mo, <laughs> ayaw ka pa rin nila. Okay. And do you know why? Is it because you're not handsome? Is it because you're not wealthy? Is it because you don't have a good yeah. job? I'm sure in the parang five years naman, nalaman parang, mo na kung bakit, di ba? Hindi siya pagmamayabang, pero ba, yung mga kaibigan ng mama niya, Lamang pa, lamang pa ako. Nice. No, I love the mayabang. confidence. Don't worry. I love that. Yeah, no, that's not my abang at all. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, well, okay, so what's the question? Pa, gano, gano katagal kami ng ganito? Parang, gano ako magtatagal ng, gano ako katagal maghihintay? How old, how old, how old is you? your girlfriend? She, he's 21. How old okay. your girlfriend? Uh, 18. Oh, Lord. Oh. Matagal pa, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Pa siya, kami na. Then, 21 na ako. Oh, my God. They've been together since she was 13 years old. Yeah. <laughs> they since got I together when she got her school. period. Oh, my since God. Since I graduated from high school and yeah. when she is studying first year high school. Mo, well, I, 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 I shall let you do the honors. Yeah, hold on. I'm okay. looking at the Sports Illustrated 2014. Okay, uh, then calendar would you like me to do it <laughs> on uh, iPhone? Because I had it on the iPad, but now it's, I'm looking for my Ratajkowski girl. But I can't. Oh, okay. Um, mm. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not getting. Uh, okay, where are we? Um, so the reason why she doesn't like you is because it started from the beginning she didn't like you. And, and, and parents are proud, man. When you're 13 and you see this guy courting your daughter... Especially uh, who is it, three years older. Right. I mean, you're 16 and she's 13. You're already bad in her book and you're bad in her book forever. So, forever. unless you do... Well, you need not forever. It, it, obviously, that's, um, that's an exaggeration. Until you really but prove them wrong in You a big, better big way. fucking do something amazing. Yeah. Because, you, like, look, she even likes the other guys... Who are masalab? You know, you say, "Mo masalabang kaysa sa mga ibang boys." Yeah. The thing, the, the part where you lose is because she's hated you from day one. Yeah, and they probably so, came into your girlfriend's life in at a more appropriate age. But well, because the thing, it's, it's like this, it's like yeah, you. Def- they probably told her not to have a boyfriend because she's only thirteen, yeah. especially not to have a sixteen-year-old boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then she probably went. Against their wishes, yeah. and they'll blame you because they're because you're the fucking because they person, are their parents. You're the bad influence yes. in her life, yes. so they already hate you from the beginning, and the that is gonna that's gonna take a really long time yeah. uh, yes. to fix. And why would you want to last in this relationship this long? You first of all, you've been dating this girl since she was thirteen. She's already now an adult at eighteen. Her family fucking hates you. It just seems like, why would you want to stay in this relationship any longer than you have been already? Yeah, it's it's not going to last for Come sure. Come on, Freddie. Get out of this already. Yeah. And well, to answer his question, let's just say, for, you know, for hypothetical sake, how long does he have to wait until the parents like him? Uh, f- 
Actually, it's not how long. It's you. What you have to do. Yeah. You have to do something fucking amazing. I mean, if we if we had to talk about, let's say, how long. I mean, for one, for as long as she's living underneath their roof, their their financial support and their rules, there's really not much you can do because they will always say that they know better. They can support her better. They just everything better. So, like Mo said, kailangan bonggang bonga ang iyong mai offer sa kanya for them to like you back. But you know, as I say, first impressions are very, very powerful. And whatever you make, whether it be a good, especially bad, it's very, very hard to reverse that. You've already left a bad taste in their mouth. Kasi nga naman, girl, 13 years old pa lang yung dalagitan nila. Pinatulan mo na. So... Even if, let's say, you did amazing things, let's say, another suitor did something, uh, uh, plan A, that you also did. To them, your plan A, which is the same as the other guy, is still shit because they already have a bad impression well, how about of this? you. How about let this do this? If you were dating my daughter when she was 13, I fucking hate you too. Yeah. Done. So even if sobrang galing mo, girl, uh, sobrang bait mo, lahat na, sobrang lahat na, it's just harder because if they already have an impression dating, of you. If you're 16 and you're dating my 13-year-old daughter, I fucking hate you. Yeah. Already. I mean, it would be different if you're so much older and, you know, her, your girlfriend can support and herself. And I'm going to move my it daughter shouldn't to matter. Norway. It shouldn't matter what her parents, I mean... So to speak, it won't matter anymore because she can pero make her own decisions. Yeah, you're gonna get listen. You're gonna get tired of it anyway. Whatever. Yeah. Listen, I, I, you're you're in this relationship too long anyway. I, I mean, eight years or whatever, five se, years. six years or five. Oh, sorry, five years. Going five. Twenty-one. Going yeah, five, five years. years. That's, that's way too long for a budding teenager relationship. Yeah. I think you should. Uh, I think you should really cut ties on this one. It's yeah. just a little difficult. But if you want to continue, fine. Just understand but that this is the way on, it is. But later on, later on, no person, especially a girl, you know, every girl would want to pagmamalaki nila yung jowa nila to their parents. Like, look at my guy. This is my guy. I'm proud of him. She can't hide that forever. And sooner or later, she will get frustrated because she just doesn't know how to make her parents like you. Unless you, not her, you do something amazeballs. Right? But we don't know With that. Yeah. yeah. All right? All right, buddy. Good luck, man. Thank you. You're in the shit house for a long time, and I, I love think it'll how be we permanent. helped him by making him feel worse. <laughs> Hold on, giving him the real deal. Give, just giving him yeah, a reality true. check. You're in the shit house, and you're going to be there for a really long time. I suggest you break up with the girl. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Sad but 13 true. Thirteen years old. Sad but 13. true. Thirteen. Thirteen. Taking a break. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to ask him if they've had sex. Parang no. No, oh, oh, no, 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 I think they have. You think so? <laughs> oh, absolutely. We gotta take a break. Back after this. Stay t -t 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. Together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our book. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening here. Yeah. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and. Hit they go just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe. 
doon pa man, hindi niyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga ormokanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along, and they scream along, and they dance along, and I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? But, you know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> The show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelman? I would. <laughs> Sys code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written sis code. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar, and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like. And once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it, you're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? <laughs> I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh... Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. 
because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. Hi guys, it's me, Tita K. Tita K! Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. Ang speci pake on. Fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan ng glamour. We fly Wednesday 6 to 7 p.m. only on nmfnetwork.tv. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, first you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it. And you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button, and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program. Hey, no, 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 no. Disregard what that girl said. It's motwister.ph. What? She said motwister.com. Okay, I said motwister.ph. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. Hey, you just the recording girl. Yeah. We'll change that because we got new sound effects already and all that good stuff. Man, you remember Mo MoTwister.com was a, was a blog that I had years and years and years ago. Okay. And boy, did it get a ton of traffic. And I, I think it, like this new one might not get a lot, a lot of, not as much traffic, even though there's a lot more like contests and giveaways and, and yeah. good stuff, like fun shit to do. It's just because there weren't a lot of blogs. I, I guess I don't want to say there because a lot now of there's because a lot more say... to choose from and a lot more. This yeah, season. yeah. I mean, like, okay, podcast. We we can say as we start season three today that I don't know of any other Filipino podcast that came before us. Um, a, a legitimate podcast out like in iTunes and all of that stuff. I don't know of one. 
Um, that was before. So there, there are probably people who were doing like Ustream shows and all of that stuff, but produced and put out there, uploaded. Um, I, I can't recall. Now, when I was doing the blog about, I'd say about five years ago, maybe a little more, uh, there wasn't a lot to choose from also. But definitely there were blogs. But, but we were doing 125,000 hits a day. Holy cow. Wow, that's a Crazy. lot. Yeah, no, it was crazy, crazy numbers. I mean, 125,000 hits per day. It's just, I was, I was always kind of wild by it. I'm like, my God, this is fucking crazy. And every, I know, but topic, the edge that you have, though, Mo, is you really do have a following, you know? So it's kind well, of but like. But it's not that, though. Like, no, oh, uh, sorry, I don't want to cut you off, but. It, no, you can, I was trying you to tell you a following, But if you don't, no, no, I know you are, but I want to correct it because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say it's because I'm popular. The content has to be good. Oh, that's or, what I it mean. Matter the following yeah, it meaning, because some people they have a following because they show tits and ass. But with you, you that's are really—I <laughs> mean, you I'm are really intelligent, and you have a lot of good content. I mean, you can be smart, but if you don't know how to present it, then it sucks, right? But obviously, you have a following in terms of the talent that you have and the way you've presented it. So I'd only like to think now with all the prizes in it as well. You know, there's only a lot more exciting things to come. Hopefully, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, no, sincerely. By the way, uh, Ange just wants to thank all the 15 million that downloaded this podcast. On that is season. just the lowest number that's actually higher, but we can't give you the exact yeah. figures. Yeah. No, yeah. 15 million is pretty big because and if that's you consider just last that year? season one was 20 million. Yeah. And that, t- but see, that was, we gave you a lot 20 more. 20 million, 200, she said. Uh, right. So this one, 15 million. million in a year. That's, that, that was, that's what Oh, okay. I, I, I need to, million, like, we got to make this official for every person that hears this. Season one was 20 million in two years. Season yeah, yeah. So two we, we, is we 15 million in yeah. one year. We outperformed season one on the yeah. to the pace of five million per year. So, Ooh, do you think? Jesus. Do you think, Mo, is Pressure. that the reason why a lot of podcasts now, or a lot of radio programs, as you say, are already doing the whole love segment, the love answering? Yeah, I mean, totally. Thing. Like, I, let, let's not be uh, fucking uh, naive. Uh, we, we're being copied here like fucking crazy, which is fine because you know. Shit, everything's copied. Yeah, you know, it's a you know television. And you did copy. say you did copy, want to so. generate more buzz for, especially yeah. for the medium of um, podcasts. So at I least, just would like a little bit yeah. more creativity, just a tad, in terms of like even the prizes now are the same exact. Even the way it's like caller of the night and and all oh, of really? this. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, it gets to be a little bit of like, okay, yeah, listen, I want you guys to do a podcast, but good God damn it, does it have to be exactly like what we are just on the yeah. same days at the same time with the same mechanics and, and all of this? I mean, really? Yeah. Don't you just want to kind of like be unique in your own little way? Not well, that's why Ange probably. said we're now giving a big ROI system, <laughs> which is in your yeah. house as a price. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Okay. want to thank uh, all the people that uh, have supported us. 15 million dollars not too bad um and yeah bianca have a good night we'll see that's you right next time. and we'll again week. welcome to season three everybody all right let's get it. oh no i have to play what? the season three extra the new one ah Let there's a new one okay it. here we go all right good night everyone bye-bye bye Good Times with Mo, the podcast season three was brought to you by Glow. We'd like to thank you for your calls and invite you to check out our other podcast on the new media factory by logging on to nmftv.com. Follow Good Times with Mo on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. Follow Mo at DJ Mo Twister. And don't forget to check out www.motwister.ph. See you next time. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.